this is Sonia in the Red Cardinal Kitchen. Thank you for joining us where culinary traditions intertwine with modern taste to create unique recipes. In the humble beginnings of 1946 to 1964, the baby boomers era came along in the late 60s the hippie movement, a symbol of a generation's commitment to wholesome living and a rejection of processed foods. Over time, a hippie shake evolved to become today's smoothie craze, a versatile and convenient option for health conscious individuals reflecting changes, tastes, and lifestyle. From 1965 through the 1980s, Generation X cooks brought levity with international seasonings and dairy involving meatless cuisine with hearty dishes of brown rice, cashew cream, gluten-free, and organic ingredients. In 1969, the millennial generation began to emerge as the children of Generation X followed by Generation Alpha born between 2010 to the present. By 2025, nearly 2 billion members of Generation Alpha will be strong across the globe. So let's collectively celebrate the baby boomer era by embracing the hippie evolution Today, join us on a nostalgic journey with our nostalgic 60s-inspired red velvet shake, a distinctive and nutritious taste experience for today's smoothies. This blend seamlessly combines frozen and fresh fruits and vegetables, offering a perfect and unique flavor that pays homage to the vibrant spirit of the 60s. Personalize this versatile recipe for immediate energy, exercise routines, inside or outside chores, and shopping. All right, let's tighten up those apron strings, gather your ingredients, prepare your workspace, and let's turn on the blender. As you take that first sip, remember the hippies evolution who shaped today's cuisine, stretching beyond beige prepackaged and processed meals to redefine how we eat. All right, so here I have my blender soon to be 55 years old and still running. Let's take off the lid and we're going to add some carrots. That's enough. And I have some walnuts and a few raisins and I'll put in some apples. Okay, and a few cucumbers. There we go. Some cabbage. And you can use any kind of fruit or vegetables, all vegetable, all fruit. Have fun. And then these are frozen strawberries. They act like an ice cube. <laughs> I think I'll put them all in there. All right, and then because this is a liquefier, it has to have liquid, unless you're doing breadcrumbs cracker. And you just wanna fill it up as close as you can. And this is almond milk. And you can use any kind of liquids. All right, now the sugar comes from the fruits and the raisins and the fats from the walnuts. So let's press it is on liquefy, and let's do this. I want a few bits of my strawberries. So there you have it. A shake from the 60s, which is now a smoothie for today. <laughs> All right, now 
we have our nostalgia, <laughs> the old jelly jar glasses, or if you want to have a dining table set, you could use a long stem glass or just a fancy bubble glass. So let's see what this will serve. So we'll start here. Now, if you don't like strawberries, you can put beets or you can put in bananas. I chose the strawberries for color. Beets would be pretty color too. So we'll just fill them all up. And there we are, fancy, oops. All right. So, let's have a taste test. <laughs> and I will drink this one. Guess what time it is? You've guessed it. It's time for the taste test. And I'm gonna get me some. Mm. Taking a sip. Mmm, this is delicious. It's sweet from the raisins. And you have your fats from the walnuts. You can use almonds, anything you like. The scent, mmm, and the taste of this medley of fruits and vegetables is a satisfying and flavorful experience. I'll take another sip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Packed with power. So this flavor hit my taste buds. Sorry, <laughs> trying to talk. And go out for a walk, run or shop, or just to explore. Make one of these. It's visually appetizing, and the coldness of this shake is so inviting to feel that thirst. In summary, we would say this shake offers a delightful sensory experience of a well-balanced and creamy texture and aroma. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. In the Red Cardinal Kitchen, here we thank all of our supporters for making exciting journeys for all of us. Thank you for your friendship, enthusiasm, engagement and remember there is no community without you for newcomers if, if you like what we do please hit the subscribe button and turn on that algorithmic bell with your magic finger for a new recipe every two weeks on Fridays your friendship is welcome until next time May God bless you with well-being and success in all of your life's journeys. Goodbye for now.